to my channel um, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss any videos just like this one so a few days ago I posted a poll on my Instagram asking if this was a video you guys would be interested in and it was very highly requested so we're gonna film it today um, as you can tell by the title it is a lunchbox ideas video uh, I do share a lot of stuff about my YouTube on Instagram so if you are interested in anything like that make sure you go follow us on Instagram all our links are in the description box down below so if you go and do that then you will be notified if you know I do any more polls or any other YouTube ideas it will be all on my Instagram so if you do that before we get into the video so I'm quite new to the whole lunchbox well because this is the first time baby's been having a lunchbox for school normally he does have hot dinners but um when they went back in september the school kind of changed the system a little bit with the hot dinners you had to pre-order them in advance and pick what they wanted for each day in advance which i didn't realize there was a deadline for that and we missed it so i sent him to school with a packed lunch for the first week and now I can't get him off them so he must be enjoying them so I thought I would share some of my tips and ideas with you um, I try and keep it healthy, um, you know but give him a good variety I like to break it down as categories so I know he's having a bit of everything each day so that you know he's getting a well balanced nutritional meal <clears throat> so I like to make sure they've got some form of carbohydrate some form of protein you can use meat eggs um, nuts is a good one although I wouldn't recommend that especially for young children because schools are trying really hard to make it a nut free environment and as a parent with a child that suffers from an allergy I think it's very important that we are careful what we're sending in our kids pack lunch because even though your child might not have an allergy they might be sat next to another child that does have an allergy um, so I think that's really important but for older kids obviously nuts are fine and then there's calcium so yogurts, cheeses, anything like that, milk is a great one and then a fruit or a vegetable and then I always give them like some sort of treat um, I will go through that in a minute because um, I just think it's nice for them to have something a little bit more fun but it's just important to cover all the food categories so they're having a nice healthy nutritional meal but with saying that we can always make it fun for them and I'm going to show you how I do that so for baby's lunch we use this little bento box I really like this because <clears throat> it comes with like little sections that you can actually like take out so you don't have to use them all the time it comes with this little tub and like baby's more of a he likes to pick up food rather than have like big meals and stuff so I think this is great for that because it kind of just makes it like little snacks um, so this is what we use and you'll see this throughout the video I will show you each day what I pack and they'll be like in small clips throughout but I just kind of wanted to give you a background and explain kind of how I do it so the other thing that we have we have two snack baskets so we have uh, the treats in that basket so these are just filled with stuff that he can pick from he can pick one of these a day for his lunch and he's only allowed one and we just kind of have things like cereal bars these little yo-yo bear fruit snacks um, star fruit snacks we have go-go squeezes um, Nutri-Grain bars Soreen bars um, what else do we have? and then we do have a couple of things such as the Barney Bear cakes and little biscuits so I just buy a selection of things that he can pick that I know he will like and enjoy um, so I try and make it not too sugary so like there are things in there like cakes and stuff like that but he's not allowed to choose something like that every day so we do put fruit snacks and stuff in there and I don't count things like um, so I don't count things like this as a fruit or a vegetable because even though they are made from fruit 
they are a processed food and they do contain sugars and stuff so I wouldn't count this as a fruit or vegetable it is a treat in our house obviously you can do what you want and feed kids whatever you want but this is what I like um is you know it is a treat for them but it's not chocolate <laughs> and sweets <laughs> So it has some sort of nutritional value in it. So he gets to pick every day for his lunch. And then we have this other snack basket. And this is just full of crisps and crackers and all that kind of um, crunchy stuff. And again, we try not to buy things that are really like heavily processed and really bad for you. So we do have, I will start with the worst. We do have like things like hula hoops that he can have on occasions. Um, obviously, he's not going to have a bag of these every day because they are not good for him. And they don't provide any nutrition whatsoever. But we do have some other stuff that he can have. So these are quite good. These are just from Tesco. They are just mini breadsticks. And sometimes I will send these with a little pot of dip of any choice. Like hummus is a good one, but... Billy doesn't like hummus, but you can do like sour cream or anything like that. Just changes it up a little bit. And then we have things like mini cheddars, um, hot chips. So these are really good. Um, they have 0.7 grams of sugar. So that is really good. And they are low in calories. Um, and then I also found recently, so I got these little... Paw Patrol snacks. Oh, there's a hole in the bottom. <laughs> they are pizza flavoured baked pea snaps. So these are like crisps. They look like crisps, but they're better for you than crisps. So I find these are really good because they're fun. They've got cartoons on them. And I think with kids, it's all about how things look rather than how it tastes. If it looks good, they're going to want to eat it. And then also we've got... I found these little troll versions and these are Poppy's Ketchup Pop Strings Crispy Chickpea Sticks. So they look like crisps, they kind of taste like crisps, but they're made from chickpeas so they're really healthy. Obviously not as healthy as fruit and veg, but it does the trick. It's a healthy alternative to crisps. And another thing that we've been trying lately is I found this popcorn but it's like um low calorie popcorn it's high in fiber and it's a lot better for you than sugary normal popcorn really really likes this so it's just something different we all obviously doesn't have the whole bag we just kind of put a few in his little tray in his lunchbox and it's a great little snack for them so that's just kind of how we do it we do like a sandwich or you know a main kind of thing a wrap anything like that we have a treat, we have a cracker of some kind, um, then we have something dairy and a fruit and a vegetable and a drink. So I will show you each day what I pick, um, but today we are just going to use some wraps for his lunch. These are just the leftover from like a fajita meal pack that we bought. Normally we do buy the whole meal wraps, but today we're just going to use those up. So I'm going to pack his lunch and then I will show you what we made. So this is Bailey's lunch for today. So we just have his little box, his drink and a little ice pack to keep everything cool. So today he's got this chocolate Yazoo milkshake. I really like these. They're a perfect size and they come with a nice little straw. And these are actually Bailey's favourite thing to have in his lunch box. And then I just made him a cheese and ham wrap with some ketchup. It's one of baby's favourites. And then I just cut it into these little bite-sized pieces. And then his treat for today, he chose a Cadbury's Bunch Bar, the raisin kind, which he also really likes. And then he just has some pretzels for today. And then for his fruit, I just made him these cute little fruit kebabs. You can use anything for these and they just kind of make them a bit more fun. Obviously, be careful with these with younger children, but for maybe they're fine. And he really likes these. They just change it up from standard fruit. And that's his lunch today. So Bailey did really well with his lunch today. He ate all his wrap. He ate all his fruit. 
a all but one of his pretzels and he left his treats um the rule in our house is if you don't eat everything else and you eat your treat you lose your treat for the next day so that's always the last thing he eats and he was obviously full by the time he got to there but it was really good he must have enjoyed it so today is day two for lunch and today Bailey has a homemade lunchable so I've just cut up some slices of ham and some cheese and then I've just got some Ritz crackers here um, I think this is a very affordable way to make lunchables especially if you have more than one child and I think they taste nicer when they're homemade too um, one thing I will say is make sure you separate your crackers from your cheese and your meat because the moisture from your cheese and meat will make the crackers soggy. So I always separate mine and then Bailey will just build it as and when he is ready to eat it. And then I've just got some raisins in here for him. And then he just has some cucumber which I've cut into star shapes. I just use a small cookie cutter for this you can use, use any shapes i just think it makes it a bit more fun for them yep and then he has a little go-go squeeze and this is the apple and strawberry flavor i don't think he's tried this flavor yet so i'm intrigued to see if he likes it and then for his drink today he just has a orange capri sun juice um, these were on sale so they were a great bargain and that is his lunch for day two so this is what was left from Bailey's lunch he ate all of his lunchable he ate some of his raisins he left his tree and he didn't eat his cucumber he's very funny with cucumber some days he'll eat it some days he won't but he said it was yummy so today is day three and today for lunch Bailey is having an apple juice then he is having a ham roll this is a brioche roll and um, Bailey really likes these because they're the perfect size they're not too bulky so they're very light and you can put those filling in them um, but today he's got ham and he really likes those and then for his dairy he has a raspberry yogurt and for his fruit and veg he has some carrot sticks and some grapes and then he has some popcorn this is the healthy popcorn that I showed you earlier and then for his treat today he just has this jelly tub with some mandarin oranges in there these are really good because it's just a, another fun way to get extra fruit into your children's diets and Bailey really likes these so this is day three so today is the fourth day and I have just got Bailey some leftover pasta this is what we had for dinner and it's just pesto pesto with some oven roasted tomatoes that I seasoned with black pepper, salt and olive oil and then I just sprinkled some mozzarella cheese on there as well I also lined the tub with some foil just so it doesn't stain the tub because I hate it when that happens and then he just has these little fruit kebabs today we just have kiwi and grapes and he really loved them last time he was so excited that they were just something different and then for his treat today he just has this banana saurian loaf cake and he hasn't tried these yet so hopefully he likes these and then he just has his strawberry yazoo milkshake and I think I might just add a yogurt just in case I don't think he'll need it because that should fill him up but I'd rather send too much than not enough and then he just has this apricot yogurt just in case there's something he doesn't like because some of this stuff is quite new for him but that's his lunch today so for the fifth and final day of the week Bailey has 
an orange that I've just made into this cute little pumpkin. Normally I would use chocolate icing just so it stands out a bit more, but we've run out of that. So I thought it was very festive. He's got some raisins, some crackers, and then he has this sandwich that I've just cut out into a jigsaw puzzle. We have loads of different cutters for this. We've got stars, dolphins, you can get so many shapes. And it just makes it a bit more fun. And there's just cheese in there today. And then as it's Friday, I've got him a little treat. So this Barney Bayer cake. Just something nice to end the week because he's been really good with his lunches. And then for his drink today, he has a Yazoo chocolate milkshake. And that's Bailey's lunch. So that was our week of pack lunches. Um, I hope you liked some of our ideas. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up and comment down below what kind of lunches you do for your kids. And I have any tips for us. Um, <clears throat> Make sure you follow us on our Instagram account. It will all be linked in the description box down below. And now that it is getting a bit colder in the UK, I was thinking about buying like a thermos flask for Bailey's lunches and maybe sending him to school with hot lunches. Um, that way he can still sit by his friends but he's still having a hot dinner. If that is a video you are interested in, please let me know in the comments down below and we can do that for you. See you next time, bye. <laughs>